Every year after Diwali, Delhi's air turns toxic and this year is no different. The celebrations may be over, but what follows is a thick blanket of smog that refuses to lift. In response, the Commission for Air Quality Management or CAQM has now activated stage 2 of the graded response action plan across the entire national capital region. Stage 2 measures begin when the air quality index falls between 301 and 400. Under this phase, authorities have rolled out a 12-point emergency action plan building on the stage 1 steps which are already in force. Municipal bodies have been directed to intensify road cleaning through mechanical and vacuum sweeping and to conduct regular water sprinkling especially in pollution hotspots and along heavy traffic corridors. Construction sites are under tighter scrutiny with strict dust control inspections. Traffic management is also a key focus. Parking fees are being increased to discourage private vehicles, while authorities are expanding public transport options by adding more CNG and electric buses and increasing the metro frequency to handle the extra load. Despite all these steps, experts warn that weather conditions like stagnant air and low wind speeds make pollution even harder in the days following Diwali. That's why Delhi is also exploring an unusual scientific fix, artificial rain. In collaboration with the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, the city plans to use cloud seeding technology to induce rainfall. A modified Cessna 206H aircraft will spray silver iodide particles into moisture-bearing clouds to trigger rain. Let's hear from Anumita Roy Chaudhary, Executive Director of Research and Advocacy at the Centre for Science and Environment, who explains why Delhi often turns to emergency measures like cloud seeding instead of long-term pollution control. Pollution season has begun. And already with Diwali last night, we have seen massive, massive mounting of pollution. Already we have noticed that since October, the first week of October until yesterday, there's already been 1.6 times increase in pollution levels in the city. But yesterday was dramatic compared to the afternoon levels and what we noticed at 10 p.m. at night there was almost an eight times increase. And even more important, during this time, we have seen that the contribution of farm fire to Delhi's pollution is still less than one to 2%. Year after year, the city continues to remain in an emergency mode. And therefore, from that perspective, when we look at the packages of emergency action, that are being considered now. And of course, one of them is the cloud seeding, that the city today is looking at artificial rain to wash away the pollution. Now, is that what that's really going to give us any solution? But try and understand first that how expensive it is to do cloud seeding. You know, it costs you one lakh rupees per square kilometer and with Delhi with 1400 square kilometer, Depending on what area you are taking up, it's a huge cost with all the flights going up to do the cloud seeding. But more important, how sustainable is the impact of cloud seeding and the rains? Only if you get heavy rains because of cloud seeding, given the kind of cloud, the rain bearing cloud that will be available during that time. But after that washout, immediate washout effect of the rains, it will just take few hours to days for the pollution to build up again. So we certainly need to understand that for those few hours of washout effect, do we take that such an expensive solution when the same money can be repurposed to reduce emissions from wide spectrum of pollution sources in the city. So it is so much more important therefore to be, get real, to get serious about emission control instead of going for this kind of expensive cosmetic solutions.